Hey everybody, Mr. Nolaxon here, and can you see, can you see Cat? He's a good little boy. Anyways, this is the last part of Wolf Among Us. Um, I've had a lot of fun filming this series. I really appreciate you, you know, sticking through this journey with me, so let's go ahead and get started. In the Fable Town community, the Fables are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, Bigby Wolf, who investigates crime, and the Deputy Mayor, who prosecutes the offenders. These are their stories. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? What brutality? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Thank God! <laughs> Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Nope. What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. She, is... she has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You oh. enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told oh, us yeah. we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Yep. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. He might, might as well have. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name yeah. is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. Yep. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I no, was in none. the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And this just confirms it. Mm -hmm. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without yep. his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a yep. stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Thank Good goodness. enough for me. Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. Oh yeah? So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. No, we're this is how you want to repay now. all I've done for you! What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. I'll break your jaw if I have to. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock what? him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood so we get rid of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Okay. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yeah, yourself. we should vote. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? Yeah. What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Does everyone agree that on that? That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Okay. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. I say rip his head off. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh man. Oh crap. He's not ready for that. 
Oh, great. Ah. Ah. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You're going to miss me. Oh, yeah. No, I won't. This is sick. Uh, what are you? Sheriff! Oh my god! That's what he deserved after what he did to everybody. And I'm sure everyone. For Lily and Faith. Yep. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the books. <sighs> it's hard doing it. I don't even know if that was right. I feel like that was justice for what he did. This game is so not hey, sheriff. black and white. <laughs> Moral wise. You gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Hey, Jack. Tim. Oh! Uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Okay. Nobody likes me. Um. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted I'm, to... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Okay. We'll talk later, okay? No, we won't. Everybody hates me now. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Okay, just wink at me, you little winky pig. I don't agree with this farm thing. I'll talk about why I chose what I chose when we get to the end. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! No. Toad. We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Toad. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? I don't even know. You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. This isn't right. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. Yeah? I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Snow. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, yeah, I'll she do was it. nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Oh. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that yeah. squirt juice at you if you touch them. She'll I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? 
Bad. I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby, so you this can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you this wouldn't know, would you? Crap. We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Uh, this is... Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. That's not okay. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. Still wearing the ribbon? You're still wearing that then. Oh. Of course. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. Yeah. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... I understand. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... So. I came here because... I have to tell you comics something. Snook. I want to go in what there. Is it? I like comics. It's about what happened to oh. Faith and Lily. Yeah. Not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She oh. stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found okay. out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. For what? You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Melissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, oh. he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. I guess uh, he did the wrong you were thing. Just uh, trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. Of course he did. But then Oh god. <laughs> Do I just pat her on the arm? Or not? Or, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But that night, at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. Oh, great. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And, and I had to watch while Georgie... Oh, great. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his he stupid technicality. Said Vivian or them. Especially after that links up with what was said. That so. night after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. Ew. So I did the only thing I could do. I I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You didn't even know me though. You I walked her over here and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just... 
pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. It's the true. crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's not, not true. really. It's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. Maybe. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. Yeah. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. No. Snow doesn't really need me. She I'm sure like that's me not anymore. true. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You a lot of bad happened too, though. When no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. Also hurt my friends. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. I screwed up because a lot, Because you though. brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. Grendel lost so an arm because of me. from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. But I'm not a good person. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. I'll try. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Now I'm all alone in the rain. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'm glad one person thinks so. Is that like a howl? I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the what Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Um. Said Faith? I'm confused. I'll see you around. Wolf. What? Okay, I guess most people killed Georgie instead of leaving him to die. Um, most of us brought him back alive. Yep, that's what I thought. Not a popular decision, but I'll get to that during the credits. Well, yeah, of course, the poor guy. Um, not very many of us said I made a lot of mistakes. So I was pretty much alone there, but I have. Especially... Uh, I like I've said countless times, I'm not going to forgive myself for tearing off Grendel's arm. That was not okay. Oh. Yep, I did lie to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment. I depressed, impressed her with my detective skills, promised her wouldn't tell Beast. I kept that promise. Offered the butcher protection. Um... Yep, Colin and me are in good standing. Crooked man's deceased. Yep, and probably shouldn't have smashed him. That was a bad move, I guess. But I killed him. Okay, Faith's dead, but I give her money. I left Georgia to die, and I smashed up his place. Yeah, I ripped off his arm. And that was very... I don't know. But I drank with him. I felt like he deserved that much. He was a messed up guy, but... You know, he was in messed up circumstances. He had a hard life, and... Okay. Um, yeah, we know Narissa. I'm confused. Was... Is Faith actually Narissa? Like, I mean, Faith I initially met, did she have, like, a glamour on her to turn her into Nerissa? Nerissa died instead of her? 
I'm confused. If there's a second one, I need to do it. Um, yeah, I brought snow back. I promised to bring the crooked man back alive, and I did. And now if she hates me, everyone hates me. I waited for Tiny Tim. Um, I want to give it to Snow. And poor TJ. I did stand up for him, but... I still I do not think it's right that he had to go to the farm. It's just... He'd be able to afford those glamours and look human if... We would pay him what we're supposed to, what Crane wasn't doing, the money we owe him, so I don't know, it just really bothers me. Because it's our fault he had to go to the farm, it's not his. But. Okay, anyway, um, as far as the crooked man went at the end, I know a lot of you probably completely disagree with this, but. I don't know, he had this plan to talk himself out of it, he was manipulating everything and twisting everything around, so to work out in his favor, and he was just going to keep manipulating people. I mean, he started this whole forced prostitution ring, he was doing sex trafficking, he was forcing people to come to him for the glamours, because he was offering them cheaper, and then he'd take advantage of them. And I felt like, okay, first of all, I felt like ripping his head off was just punishment for those two women getting killed through decapitation. Well, three, actually, Vivian. She kind of, he didn't really force her into that, but he kind of did through guilt. So, but, um, I don't know, I f just thought that was kind of some poetic justice there. Um... And I don't know, I don't know what happens in the Witching Wall, I don't know if it actually kills them, so what if he came back and started hurting people again? I just want to be sure that he was dead, rather than, I know that was unpopular, because they had to stand there and watch it, and nobody wants to see that even though they wanted him dead. But, continue the story, oh, I'll pick up a graphic novel today. I... I just might actually, I might read them. I want to. We'll just have to see, I guess. But, um, anyway. I feel like I didn't get all the way through to my point. Um, I don't know, I didn't want him coming back and hurting people, so... I don't know. I know everyone in Fable Town hates me for it. You guys probably are a little iffy about my morality for it, but I don't know. I was trying to do the right thing, bring justice about. I don't know if I did that, but I tried. So I don't know. I don't really regret killing Dumb either, because he was he was a bad, evil guy. He was hurting people. He was a willing pawn of the Crooked Man. At least it seemed like Tweedledee and Tweedledum were pretty willing to do his dirty work. But uh, if I played again, I would not have ripped Grendel's arm off. I know that for sure. I probably would have made better decisions, but you have to live with the mistakes you make, so... Yeah. Anyway, well, that was Wolf Among Us. If there's another one, I'm definitely going to play it, so... Um, we'll see about that, but... Uh, if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate if you'd leave likes on them. Um, because that does... it helps me out. It, um... From what I understand, it makes my videos pop up more in like the sidebar and stuff. So more people watch my videos. So that would help me out a lot. But, you know, I know I forget to leave likes sometimes on videos I enjoyed. But, I don't know, I just appreciate it if you did. So, 
Um, I guess that was all of the Wolf Among Us. I will start uploading my next video soon. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if there's a second one, I hope we all get enjoy that too. So, you all take care, and I'll see you next video. Bye. Solving the crime, keeping fables in line. I'm on the hunt, I'm at the clues. Big B is here to fill you with fear when you're here among the woods.